Hello again, it's your friendly neighborhood host, J.T. Wheatley, back for another episode of the History of Comics podcast, this time with the uh, classic uh, Weapon X, the origin of Wolverine by uh, Barry Windsor Smith, who served as the writer in the Irishman series. This is the classic story where they finally tell us how Wolverine got his adamantium skeleton and was trained to be an assassin only for him to, of course, escape into the Canadian wilderness where he was eventually picked up by Alpha Flight. And this tells that story in between. And it's really a great psycho, uh, psychedelic uh, story. This is where Barry Windsor Smith really starts playing with his storytelling. His art, of course, is second to none. It's at that great, gritty feeling, really gruesome, too. You really see what all, all was done to Wolverine to get that. I mean, it's, it's pretty messed up. It also has those classic, iconic shots. Of course, the one where he's got that VR helmet over his head where they're trying to brainwash him into becoming an assassin. And he's running around shirtless with his claws out and the wire sticking out. Classic, gorgeous scene. And just honestly creepy, too. You really see where Wolverine's psychosis come from because you really if this was done to him it was just messed up now this series first appeared back in 1991 from March to September f- f- appearing in Marvel Comics Presents from number 72 to 84 in which uh, you know, Barry Windsor just tells this story over the long run it's now considered obviously one of the iconic moments in Wolverine this is a great psychological story a little different and it shows what when you get a character, uh, creator like Barry Windsor Smith onto a mainstream property and let him do interesting things with it even something as integral as the origin of how Wolverine got his adamantium skeleton, you can do some really cool, edgy stuff. And this is a great, great read in general and pretty much canon at this point. You've seen that, like I said, the image of Wolverine alone running around with a VR helmet and his claws out uh, going going berserk has been replayed ever since most recently in the, in the X-Men uh, Apocalypse uh, movie f- uh, a few years back. And, yeah, just, uh, just a great read in general, essential for Wolverine. So if you're looking to get into more Wolverine reading, uh, check out the uh, Weapon X, uh, the Origin Wolverine, which has co- been collected numerous times. It's very easy to find, because that is a true classic. Great things are coming on the Nerd Bliss Podcast. We're changing up our presentation while keeping the candidates that you enjoy. We'll cover all your favorite shows and movies with maybe a few surprises along the way. And you, yes you, will have opportunities to be on our show on a regular basis. That's right, you've got the Zoom Pro account and we're going to use it. So be ready. Find us at nerdblisspodcast.com and esonetwork.com and on all the socials at nerdblisspod. Nerdbliss, listen up. And now it is July 27th, 2023, time for the favorite comic of the week. She-Hulk, number 15, by Rainbow Rowell and Andres uh, Junolet, which is a, a great conclusion to this series in which uh, She-Hulk finally confronts Scoundrel, the uh, thief she's kind of had a thing for, she's a bit of attracted to, even though she's still been, uh, she's been dating Jack of Hearts, though, unfortunately, they have a, almost a rogue, they, joke, they even say in the comments, they have a rogue gambit thing where she can't touch him because he absorbs radiation, and that, and she's pretty much made of radiation, being uh, a she a Hulk made up of gamma radiation, so it's kind of a lethal combination. But uh, she finally figures out who Scoundrel is, and it ends with a great romantic uh, wrap-up along with some uh, nice guest stars as uh, some of her friends in New York City from The Thing, the Luke Cage, show up to help her out when a nuclear bomb gets planted in this city and they have to stop and find it. Yeah, this a f- great. This was it ended up being like a, a great romantic uh, series, which you don't see a lot of, and it's great to see this uh, wrapped up with She-Hulk, who's the perfect character for this, because, yeah, she's like, she's a down-to-earth character, she's a lawyer, and, and she has her romantic entanglements, and her and Jack of Hearts make a great uh, combination, and Scoundrel's like an in- intriguing character, too. And yeah, this is where it wraps up. We were really just a fun read in general. Great work by Rainbow Rowell, who gets in the, all the character moments. Great. Yeah. If you want to look for a good romantic series, check out this recent run on She Hulk by Rainbow Rowell and Andre Guillermo. This is a great read from beginning to end. And uh, with that, we will conclude for this edition of the Classics. Join me again next week for another episode of, well, we'll see. Well, I'm uh, hoping I'll have something a little different next time. But until then, go ahead and enjoy yourself a good comic book. If you can, check out Weapon X, because that is a true classic.